Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Place, The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. I'm just gonna start this by saying that I'm using a new recording software in an attempt to eliminate XSplit's known crackle issue once and for all. I'm using OBS Studio right now, it's free. Let me know if it's ho Let me know how it captured the guttural sounds of my disappointment. 0L9AFPBF. Um, Bear with me, it's possible there might be, you know, maybe I'm too loud or I'm peaking or something like that. Uh, and I damn near got caught because my beeper kept beeping. Uh, you never been on a ride like this before. With a producer who can rap and control the maestro at the same time with the dope rhymes that I kick. You know and I know. I float some old funky shit. To add to my collection, the selection symbolizes dope, but don't choke. Uh, if you do, you got no... Clue what me and my homie Snoop Dogg came to do. That's my microphone check. One, two, what is this? Okay. We got anything going on here. We are, I mean, I'm on a keeper run. I got a little brimstone right off the bat. This is good news in the sense that, uh, obviously, little brim is an awesome item to have. Especially when maybe you're a little bit scared about what your damage can or can't do. Uh, I'm going to try to hit up every room here because if there's a room with, like, a lot of pots, I would really like to go to these pots. And perhaps pick up Swallowed Penny. I'm almost thinking that maybe it's worth going to the shop to get Swallowed Penny as well. Um, let's see if we could get... Just Flies, huh? That's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say, let's see if we can get Just Flies. Well, this is, uh, the second time in, in very recent memory... Oh, shouldn't have picked up that Penny! It's the second time in very recent memory that we're fighting the Pony early on, uh, on a run. It's Bad News Bears because we don't gain anything from this. As a result of the fact that we really can't benefit from the ability to fly. I mean, we could go get a bomb. I figured we'd try that, even though it's a little bit of bad form. Getting to five cents at least gives us the opportunity to get an arcade on the next floor. But, uh, there, there's some obvious kind of, like, shortcuts to success we can take on this one. The big one is getting Swallowed Penny. The other ones are, uh, anything that allows us to get more battery charges as quickly as possible. So... Triple-A battery doesn't do it for us, but 9-volt does it for us, Nun's Habit does it for us, which is why money is, uh, is quite important here. It, it's basically the resource by which everything else is, uh, is bounded, and, uh, or just bound, I guess. And I'm not talking about real life, although maybe that is indeed the case. I'm talking about the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth as the Keeper, who we're playing as right now. That was positively Nardwarian. Now, just... Use little brim. We're at a distance to these enemies, which is great. And that is probably going to be a shop. Let's just go fight our boss. I gotta say, we have seriously gotten unlucky. We're very lucky to have little brim, don't get me wrong. And even little Steven, at least it's not something that is just like completely worthless as uh, the keeper. But we've gotten very unlucky to actually not really get that many lucky penny drops from our um, wooden nickel here. HP does... Something for us if we find something in here that we like. This is a weird one. Um, obviously, we can't take Brimstone. We can take Dark Bum, but he's only going to give us flies. So I actually feel like Headless Baby is the right call. Um, to be honest with you... Well, we should go pick up this money at the very least. But to be honest with you, I, I actually thought about taking nothing. And the reason I thought about taking nothing was because... Uh, we could get deals with the angel and get some free angel items, but honestly, we should try to get a bomb if possible. Uh, honestly, I don't know if that's the, the right course of action. We might have put ourselves in a real tough spot now. Will they let me go into that room? We might be in a real tough spot because we'll, we'll not get those free angel items anymore is what I'm, I'm trying to say, I suppose. Um, we're going to get up to nine cents. We could buy a bomb, blow up the Tinted Rock, and, and also get that chest. It would take now, we need two bombs for that, so it's pretty unlikely. We could buy a bomb, use it there, get two cents out of it. I think instead, we're just gonna head down to the next floor. But I will spend a key on the shop in the hopes of getting Swallowed Penny. Swallowed Penny does not exist here. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little bit of a lark and just see if we can get to Chaos, but it's it's probably unlikely. We bought a bomb and then picked up five cents from using the bomb. That's fine, honestly. Like, obviously, it could have been better, but, uh... 
I can't be too disappointed in it. We could go back and take Dark Bomb if we want to, but Dark Bomb is not going to give us HP. It's going to eat Red Hearts and give us Flies, but we're not even going to gain Red Hearts. Are we? Like, Red Hearts when they drop? Are they still Red Hearts? I can't recall. There's a little Tomo there at the door. I'll open it for you in a second here, buddy. Just busy concentrating right now. I mean, we are in a fairly difficult situation. Hey, Tomo, how's it going? Mon frere. Not literally my brother. That'd be weird. He's not heavy, man. He's my Tomo. Northern Line, how do you feel about the Nintendo uh, social network Me Tomo? Well, I believe that uh, Tomo or Tomodachi is Japanese for friends. Tomo's kind of like a shorthand, so it's not like I can um, act like we have ownership over the name Tomo. You know, we, we derived it independently of Nintendo, but that doesn't mean that they stole the idea from us. Lots of people on planet Earth coming up with ideas all the time. I'm not going to get bent out of shape about it. Kate played me Tomo for a while, if, if that's what you do in that game. I don't mean that to be insulting. I just, you know, it was kind of like a Nintendo Facebook or something. It seemed fun. I was having a fun time uh, watching her play for a little bit, figure out that Krendor's favorite kind of bread was sourdough. What is this? God's flesh. <sighs> you know... Maybe you don't know. My my feelings on this item are that it's all right. Certainly, I'm not thrilled about uh, it being, you know, our marquee item on this floor. And I'm not talking about a, uh, you know, 1990s Calvin Klein model turned rapper and actor. Two bombs could get us an advantage there. One bomb's going to get us jack shit. And I, I'm doing my best uh, not to explore everything. Because exploring everything, I think, is a recipe for disaster. Yo, what's up with these fucking, um, tiny rooms here? Seems a little bit unfair, uh, to constantly shove me into these rooms where enemies can create creep. But luckily, we're gonna get through this one just fine again, and we got another deal with the devil. Uh, this is great. As long as we don't die against Krampo, this is fantastic. Shoot the, shoot the fires just to be safe here. We really would love Lump of Coal. And if we don't get Lump of Coal and instead find ourselves getting uh, Krampus' head, that's also actually pretty okay. Because we will just put it down and never touch it again. At least it's not, you know, affecting us permanently. Come on, Lump of Coal. Hey, we got Lump of Coal, and I'm going to try for maybe a something that could get us out of Boss Rush here. Obviously, that didn't work out, and you know what? That's a-okay. Still faster than my last Lilith run at the present moment. Come down here. Caves 2. How do I feel about this? Well, Lump of Coal is really the first, you know, substantial improvement we've had in a while. Can't dispute that. Uh, love to get a little bit more in the high damage department, but may or may not be accessible to us. The fact that we were... Oh my god, Tomo, you alright, buddy? He's running around like a Christmas tree. It doesn't really make any sense, but, you know, I, I didn't make it up. He's, he's running around, he's got flashing lights, a big star on top of his head. That's not true. That's just not true. Whoa! Okay, be smart. Oh, uh, where's my coin, dog? Why can't you be more like mid 2000s era Chicago Blackhawks defenseman Adrian A coin and give me a coin? Thank you. All right, there we go. No trinkets for sale. Come oh, on, you're scratching the green screen, buddy. There may come a point in my life when I choose to use that again. Nothing. Were you hearing this in the background? My boy's going nuts here. Tomo, he's he's freaking out. All right, we kind of uh, desperation is you know a strong emotion. Um, are we desperate right now? No, but it's like when you say, "Hey, do you want to go get some dinner?" I'm not hungry now, but I could be hungry in like 20 minutes, and then 45 minutes go by and you're like, I'm fucking starving, and they're like, why are you freaking out, man? You said you weren't hungry. Yo, I gave you a timeline, and here we are, past that timeline, you know? I thought we were a civilized society. That's where I'm at on this run right now, is like, I'm not desperate for, for damage or, you know, survivability, but I will be in like a floor or two, so... Let's, uh, you know, get ready for that. Mom's lipstick is not very good for us, even with the lump of coal extension. Or lump of coal, you know, even with lump of coal, I guess, is the way that a normal 
organic human being would say that expression. Let's go find, hopefully, an item room. But, oh, okay, never mind. No, no hopefully required, because we just did it. Don't get tempted by God's flesh. That's a great sentence. Don't go chasing divine flesh and stick to the corporeal forms that you used to. I, well, we've already been to our shop. We know Mom's box of trinkets is not in there, so I think we just, you know, say Cricket's head is an awesome item, which it is, and then move on with our lives here. Keeper gives you a great uh, excuse to not fight absolutely every single enemy, and I'm very appreciative of this. Please let me know, by the way, and I'm, I'm wary of even bringing this up. Because in doing so, people will find problems. It's like if you say, hey, how do I look today? People will be like, you look awesome. You're beautiful. You're the most handsome man I've ever seen in my life. I'm just speaking from personal experience here. And then you say, oh, but like... Have you noticed, like, my mustache is a little asymmetrical today? And then they go, oh, of course, yeah, I noticed that the second you walked in. Like, as soon as you bring up a problem, people are more apt to see it. Let me know, though, and, and do your best to be impartial, uh, if the video quality is worse. Because if the, if the quality, if the bitrate is worse, it's an extraordinarily easy fix. I just make the file size slightly larger by making it uh, record in higher quality. It's not a huge problem at all. I want this to look, uh, you know, I mean, it's it's Binding of Isaac, so it's not like the most visually uh, uh, complicated game from a, you know, GPU and CPU intensity standpoint. So cranking those, uh, cranking that up is not that difficult. Okay, I, I felt safe here, even though I took damage. Might have uh, fudged up our deal with the devil chances. To be fair, I shouldn't have gotten hit on that room in the first place. That's a little bit of stupidity there, but... I do think we've played pretty well on this run so far. And we haven't gotten, like, ridiculously strong. But admittedly, that early little brim has helped us out a lot. And, you know, hopefully we'll continue to kind of uh, support us while we transition into hopefully being able to use our... Our own HP and our, our own damage to kill enemies because as of right now it's not really uh, not really quite there but to be you know crickets head and oh this room is very scary to be at the point where we're at oh fuck oh, no <laughs> I didn't see it I didn't see it oh you know what? Start up an Isaac. I was, I was doing so well. G got him. G zero T M zero R X L. Ah, I really like sincerely. There was a point there. I can play back that entire room in my head. Fine, fine, fine. Oh, don't go for it. You might get hit once. Then get hit once, and then go. Oh shit! Now we have to back it up. And then when I backed it up, uh, oh, life just, life just shit on me, man. Well. That's fine. You know, it's it's a fine loss. A loss as the keeper is is not uh, something you can be too shaken by. But I'll admit, I'm a little choked right now. I don't know what this... Oh, shit. I don't really know what that expression means. I've heard it in, in popular parlance. Does choked mean upset? Because I'm not really upset, you know. I'd, I'm already over the death. Life goes on. But, uh... I mean, I, I would rather have won. Is that what choked means? Probably not, huh? Okay, you stay close. And maybe like another one of those. I will use two bombs to knock Ragman down any day of the week, man. He's an annoying piece of garbage. And um, honestly, the, the less time that he spends on this glorious earth, the better that everybody else's time on this fucking third rock from the sun is going to be. Now, if you just, like... If you could stand on the same plane as the rest of the human race, that would be awesome. Okay, we've done it. I don't understand how we killed your body, but your head continues to survive. It's some, uh, you know, neuromancer shit, but sure. Caffeine pill is fine, but beyond that, um, we also don't really have the means to reroll twice. And I would definitely rather take a speed upgrade and reroll uh, an active item we're never going to touch again than vice versa. Remember the days when Northern Lion used to hate speed upgrades? This used to be a anti-speed upgrade stream 
Feels bad, man. I'm trying to keep up with the Twitch memes. Because I played Overwatch, I, I find myself wanting to, to get into the Twitch culture. Just think, oh, you fuckers. Never went that far. We might as well pick it up for the mom transformation, but apart from that... Just in case I end up streaming Overwatch, I gotta get myself ready for the feels bad mans and the... The face palms and the kappas and the mini kappas and then you got the large kappas. Some of the kappas have rainbow stripes on their face. It's just, uh... It's, it's out there, man. Where did the spirit art come from? I blew up a tinted rock, right? It seems, that seems like a plausible explanation. Sucks, um... That we didn't get an item on the last floor. I mean, effectively, we left floor one with one speed upgrade. But keep in mind, Isaac does start with a little bit of an advantage. Three HP, okay starting stats. And, of course, the D6 to kind of, like, thin the item pool into something that's a little bit more um, excellent for you. There you go. That's why you shoot the poops when you're in a semi-desperate situation. Like, we maybe don't want to find ourselves. What did I tell you? I told you I was going to get desperate on that keeper run. Okay, just don't... Oh, my God, Tomo. What's going on, buddy? Is Ruka terrorizing you? This guy is the sneakiest spider. What? I do want to go to that curse room, but I'd, I'd like it to be later. I'd like it to be after we go to the deal with the devil. Okay, don't don't curse of the lost me here. Curse of the don't go through the right door. Ooh, the serpent's kiss. Good item. Kill an enemy with the poison. Good chance or or guarantee to get a black heart. Please give me one black heart early, so I may experience old age and uh, live to live to tell about it. I think our luck stat maybe has something to do with uh, the number of poison hits we get. Because I mean, as of right now, we're not getting too many. But it's not the poison that really sells you on this one. It's the uh, It's the, the black hearts that you can generate as a result of said poison. Let me buy a spirit heart. Come on now. Oh my god. With the constantly bait and switching me here. Oh. Ah! <laughs> oh why? Why? Do you, do you see fit to punish me so? Uh, well, we did just walk into the secret room. So there's bad gas. That's okay. Bad trip is obviously horrible. I can see forever is uh, at best okay. I'm gonna do something a little ballsy, and uh, because we've already taken damage, why don't we just come in here, crack this, couple of spirit hearts, beautiful. I uh, okay. I'm gonna do something that even is not risky. It might just be stupid, but we're gonna do that. That way, we can at least come into this room and see what we got. Ooh, okay. All right. So if we get a bomb, we can blow up the uh, stone chest there and fight for our right to party. There are no, there are no bombs in there, unfortunately. Second secret room is down here somewhere. It's five runes. It's very, very scary. I, I used Ansu's because I was like, the odds of us actually taking an Ansu's rune from these five are quite low, man. Quite low indeed. We're hoping, obviously, that there's a Yera or perhaps a. Uh, Another Algiers or something like that that we could take out of this room. Dagaz. We'll use that on the next floor. My father always told me what's right is right. Gotta get some afternoon Dagaz. Doesn't really work too well. We'll wait for our uh, boss fight to see if we get a bomb, potentially. Come on, dog. We got the D6. We should be crushing this. Like we're a hydraulic press channel on YouTube that is not only crushing it from a literal standpoint, but also crushing it from, you know, a, 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 an audience standpoint, an attention standpoint, and, and probably a fiscal standpoint. And you know what? A, a self-actualization standpoint as well. Standing on top of uh, Maslow's hierarchy of needs, crushing shit with your hydraulic press, watching the tide uh, roll in. Now, if you could just... Uh, there you go. Just... Hit you a couple more times. Oh, they didn't give me a deal with the devil, the dirty dogs. You know what? I will take pageant boy. Against my better judgment. Excuse me, I'd like to leave this room at some point. I can't believe that this floor took us this long. Obviously, we'll, we'll pick up HP at this point. 
Uh, I don't really want the Bible. I don't really want the Fool card either. Alright, we'll leave then. I can tell when I'm now wanted. This is slightly unfortunate, the way that this worked out for us. We could be stacked right now. Instead, we are not stacked right now. In fact, we're kind of anti-stacked. You know what? The gauze away the curse of the labyrinth. I don't think it works that way. I wish it did though. Oh my god, he's unhittable. Are you kidding me? What is this, 19 hits to kill this guy? And then you give me a bomb on the first fucking room. I don't support it. We, uh, again, I, I wouldn't say that we desperately need uh, damage, but I will say that soon we will desperately need damage. As a result, uh, I, I'm very hopeful that we can maybe get to that point at a moment in the future, please. Because doing this shit with Isaac's base damage in a speed upgrade is annoying. Oh, okay, I'll take it. We got Blood of the Martyr. I sacrificed our chance at infamy to make that happen. Uh, I would do it again, but I would rather have both. <laughs> I'd rather have higher damage and infamy. Uh, Blood of the Martyr, I don't think is that incredible as a damage upgrade, but shit, dude, you know, if I'm starving in the desert, you give me a cut of, uh, you know, prime rib. I'm not going to say, oh, this is a little fatty. Can I have the strip loin instead? I'm going to say, hey, thanks for the prime rib. This would cost me $35 at a restaurant. You've tickled my fiscal fancy, and I'm happy to, you know, be alive right now. Let's be best friends. Unless you were just using this beef to get on my good side, in which case I find that manipulative, but man's gotta eat. Now. Just keep it... Okay. You know, like, the damage-wise, it's still, um... Not really that good. I mean, I'm not trying to be, you know, beggars can't be choosers and all that, but uh, at the same time, be real nice, you know, if you could possibly hook me up with, say, like, maybe uh, another damage upgrade or something. I'm Oh, just curious. I, I didn't even drop any hints. How did you know that's what I wanted for Arbor Day? I'm pretty sure Arbor Day happens in, like, April? I don't know. It's May right now. Just in case you're curious about how the backlog is. This video should make it up before the end of May, considering it's May the 1st at 12.01 a.m., right? I'm just, it's not. We're in the middle of May. Oh, uh, excuse me? Deflect my bullets? Who said you could do that? Another spirit heart for yours truly. And a tears upgrade. That, you know, tears and damage, two sides of the same coin, man. It's like heads and tails. You thought I was going to go a little deeper with that analogy, perhaps, but what's the, what's the point? You know, this, uh, the nature has already given us the, the almighty coin. The almighty aller. Ooh, that felt good. I'm waiting on, like, some more black cards here. I'm also waiting on the world to change, because one day this generation is going to rule the population. But uh, if you could, like, straight up just hook me up with, you know, like, maybe some... Black hearts because it's, you know, what I paid for when I got the Serpent's Kiss. Admittedly, I used the coupon, but uh, at the same time, is you should honor the coupon. It's meant to market your business. You want it to be good press, not bad press. Two rerolls, all consumables on the ground. Um, we don't have any evil upgrades, I think. Serpent's Kiss might be an evil upgrade, so you know what? Let's do that. It wasn't very good. We got one key and um, Black Feather for the cost of two keys. So effectively, we traded one key for Black Feather. If I got it out of a golden chest, I'd be disappointed. But I figured, rather than um, re-roll Black Feather, why not take it, and then if we get some evil upgrades, it gives us extra damage. I really doubt that this is going to be the thing that pushes us from, you know, double-digit streaks into quadruple-digit streaks, but extra ooh, consistency like that could help out. We're just trying to avoid, you know, contingency plans that could be annoying. I figured we'd take Little Haunt. It's not amazing, but the fear status effect is... Okay, it's not bad, and we're, we're pretty much trucking right along schedule here. I'd love to get a bomb, though. Get a bomb, access the secret room, and make the rest of the game our bitch. I don't know. It seemed like we hit that guy twice, and he died, and previously we were hitting him uh, three times. Perhaps the Serpent's Kiss does count as a... Uh, an evil upgrade, which would give us a 0.3 damage up. If you're not familiar with... Oh my god, dude. 
the extra black hearts are now coming fast and furious here like a Vin Diesel film. Of course, I'm talking about the Chronicles of Riddick. Classic from 2004. I saw that movie in theaters with, with my friends at the time. I was the only one who knew who Judy Dench was. Uh, tits, that's where you... Uh, excuse me, she's been uh, made a lady in England as a result of her thespian talents. So you see the origin story of the snob that's in front of you today. This run has gone from like... Decent... To... V ah! Very, very good in, in quick succession here. Um, but the deal with the devil that we're basically destined to get here right now could make it even better. And honestly, the sack dagger pickup is disgusting because we have a great ability to um, to use it as a result of the fact that we have uh, black hearts coming in on the regular. So we'll take experimental treatment. It gave us HP. It looks like it made our damage a little lower, which is unfortunate, but it's all there for the spun transformation later anyway. Get the Halo, which is absolutely worth taking. And then, uh, I think we're going to pick up Book of Bilal just to ensure that we get precedent on something half-decent. And then reroll came uh, Guppy's Collar, and we'll head down to the next floor. This is a great situation to find ourselves in. Curse of the Unknown? I don't think so, mister. Okay, I'm, might be a safer way to do this, but I don't really care. Uh, we got a rune... Backing us up here. We got a rune shaking its ass. We got a rune watching itself. We got a rune shaking its ass. And then we also have a rune that's showing me what it's working with. According to Mystical. Mystical? Mystical? You know. Mr. Was that his... No, it's not like he was going for... My, that name again is Mystical. I don't think so, at least. Okay, Sack Dagger... I'm relying on it. I'm leaning on it a little too hard. I mean, we all need somebody to lean on, but you don't want to lean on them that hard. You're going to end up creating an informant situation. Uh, you know, snow, a lucky boom boom down. This episode, by the way, just prepare for it to get more and more ridiculous as we approach the uh, time frame in which the average Isaac episode would already be over. As a result of the Keeper run to start this off, uh, obviously this one's going to be a little longer, and... I can really only appear like a functioning member of society for like 35 to 40 minutes at a time, so if we start to surpass that, I may just start talking and, you know, speaking in tongues. Something like that. We'll see. We'll take Mom's purse so we can hold a second trinket. I don't really want to use a bomb to destroy you, but... You'd leave me no choice sometimes with your relatively high amounts of HP. Hello, Ruka. Are you terrorizing our other feline friend for no reason? As if you're better than him? Despite the fact that as uh, lower members of the animal kingdom, you're so far beneath us all. You know what? I'll stop insulting our cat on an existential level when he gets a goddamn job. And that's not fair. Kate records cat videos sometimes, so... You know, he's, he's kicking in on the rent as much as you could expect a family pet to uh, to possibly muster, so... You know what, Ruka? I'm sorry, you know. You have no control over what species you're born as. I think I am going to take that Emperor card. It's teleportation. Just thinking maybe if I get hit once, we'll use the Gaz. I mean, you think about that sometimes, you know, when I was younger... You look at like Hugh Jackman or something like that, and you'd be like, man, why wasn't I born as handsome as Hugh Jackman? That would make life so much easy. Or so much easier to just be as handsome as Hugh Jackman is. Imagine that feeling. But then you're like, oh, I probably shouldn't have picked that up yet, eh? Ooh, but maybe it's totally fine. I think if I do like that and then pick this up, we're in a good spot, and then we'll do this. Okay, sure, a Thames okay. Um, imagine that feeling, but then you're you're like a cat, and you're dealing with these humans, and you're like, hey, I I could have been born as you know this tool wielding society that, as far as we know, is the most technologically advanced, uh, complexly intelligent species in human history. Um, instead, I was I was born as a cat. I mean. The catch-22, of course, the catch-22, is that, um, as a cat, you, you probably 
don't have the capability for that higher order thought. But at the same time, you know, it, you'd think, I, I would be pissed. I'd be like, why do I have to get born as a cat? Live like one-fifth as long as a human. Of course, there are outliers on both sides. Um, you know, have to lick my own asshole. Don't have any thumbs. I, being a cat is pretty sweet, but... I mean, being a human, like, you have responsibilities, but at the same time, I have never had, well, first off, the ability or the desire, but I've also never had the obligation to lick my own anus, which I think is, uh, something that, you know, on the Maslow's hierarchy of needs, it's, like, just below oxygen. And by below, I mean more important than oxygen. There are no cats in this room anymore. Okay. Well, um, I'm not at all concerned about getting a teleport card here. We already have a teleport card. Uh, how do I feel about this floor? I mean, did we, see, we saw what was in there? No, we didn't really see what was in there. We're only one guppy item away, and, and them's the rules, you know. If you're one guppy item away, you go for the uh, every red chest you find, regardless of the cost to yourself. At this point, I kind of feel like, why wouldn't we be using Sack Dagger at all times? If we get hit, which is very, very possible, um, we're gonna get a Thame, and we're gonna get the chance to, um, maybe poison them and get some black hearts back, and, you know, just very quickly we're gonna be able to do some good work here. Like, I, I'm almost at the point where I'm thinking it may statistically actually be an improvement for us to take damage. And that's, you know, once, <laughs> well, that worked out well for us, but once you cross that threshold, it's hard to come back, so we've gotta decide if that's actually where we're gonna go on this one. And honestly, I think I might be not only go there, I might build a house there, I might start a family there. It would be like the, you know, Brian Cox's alternative uh, dream for his son in the 2003 classic uh, 25th hour. It's weird, because I, I, I can tell if I was watching this. If I were watching Mathis do this run, you know, in some hypothetical situation where I'm a prisoner of war, Oh, I hear the litter box now, so they're, uh, they must have just pooped. Cats go crazy whenever they poop for some reason. Our, ours do, at least. Um, and, and I saw him taking dumb damage like this, so I'd be like, Mathis, what are you doing, man? What's the point of taking this dumb damage? But, I'm, I'd kind of, I'd be in the wrong, I think, first off, because he's a friend of mine, so to be so critical of him is not a very nice thing to do. Um, we'll take the compass here. But also... Your, your HP is still, like, max, so it's not like you're he's really losing out at all here. If anything, he's the, he's the genius for making this run get finished a little faster. He can go enjoy a nice lunch and uh, be more well-nourished to continue his day. I don't know. By the way, there has been, since the culling, uh, ooh, spoon bender. Since the culling tournament of shame, there's been some people that are like, Man, this, these guys are mean to you. Why do you even hang out with them? Yo. This is, it's friendly banter. Most people seem to understand that, but there are some people who are like, man, these guys are like bullying Mathis. Mathis bullies us? Go watch some of Mathis' videos. It's, uh, it's banter between friends, you know? You know your, uh, little chest, maybe? You know you're friends with somebody. When you meet, you don't say, hey, how's it going? How's your week? You go, hey, cocksucker. You, I just got back from fucking your mother. But then, then you go, like, I love you, man. But also, like, don't actually fuck his mom. That's what you gotta worry about. Don't worry about the guy who says he fucked your mom. You gotta worry about the the guy who gets quiet when the mom fucking jokes come out. Because he's the dude who's actually fucking your mom behind your back. You're over here saying, oh, Northern Lion, he's being a mean dude. Meanwhile, Nick's standing there in the back being the nice guy because he's, you know, giving your mom a slice of strange on the side. It was very uncomfortable with addiction there. Um, we're obviously just gonna, you know, get through this as soon as possible. Dice Shard is probably better for us than anything else right now. That was terrible damage there, but doesn't really matter. One item away from becoming Guppy. Let the dream come true. Mr. McMillan, tear down this wall of relatively low damage and give me the ability to spawn some flies. I mean, I don't mind using Sack Dagger for the rest of the run, but... It's <laughs> it's leading to a little bit of despair, perhaps. 
Uh, these are not guppy items. Reroll both. Ooh, baby, I love guppy. I want a guppy there every day. Every day. Mom's heels. Oh, we got the mom transformation as well. I, maybe I shouldn't have rerolled Placenta, but I figured let's take advantage of our permanent Polaroid invincibility. Look at all the special rooms available to us right now. I think maybe we should take like one floor and just rebuild our um, rebuild our HP, basically. Although I probably will go into this curse room, but going into the curse room could rebuild our HP. Come at the champ, you best not miss. Yo, you come on the champ, you best not miss. That, that felt weird as well. Well, we can hold a second trinket, so let's do so. Um, all right, well, that's a couple of special rooms basically taken care of here. I can now use two keys to open this one. Another spirit heart, well worth it. More keys, don't really care about the penny. I can see forever is pretty good. Yeah, I had a feeling it might be around here. Whoa! Okay, we are totally in the right to be taking damage on the regular. Did you see what a Thane did for us there? It's not 100% reliable, but look at how quickly we built our spirit hearts up as a result of this. Uh, we should get the key. We should get the key and the bomb, but we should definitely get the key. Sorry, something didn't give me a Thame, or didn't give me the black heart from a Thame there? That doesn't seem right. Let's not uh, gloss over the fact that on that last deal with the devil, not only did we become Guppy, but we also got the uh, Succubus, which is a fantastic item. Like, genuinely a top-tier familiar. Probably just a cut below, like, Incubus for the best. Maybe Little Brim, depending on your perspective. But, you know, we had Little Brim on our last run as the Keeper, and I still died, so obviously it's not that good. Ooh, Rotten Baby is, though. I'm being facetious. It is still that good. Oh shit, it's that good. What up? <laughs> Memes. Frogmeme.meme. Tears down. No, thank you. Health up. Eh. Tell you what. Take the health up for now. Maybe somehow you'll get a red heart drop in here and be able to use this to cheese up the deal with the devil. Doubtful, though. Deal with the doubtful. Deal with Mrs. Doubtfire. Uh, I'm just gonna head up to the cathedral. As much as you may want to see me fight the hush here, I want to get this run in the books. I want to get this streak back to one. <laughs> it's like a dream come true. Two. Uh, just want to be with you. Three, girl, it's plain to see that you're the only one for me. And you can tell because I'm writing a number one single about it. Yo, where's my black hearts, though? It's getting a little... A little silly, the lack of uh, black heart action here. Oh my god. Give me a black heart. I don't think our HP is bad enough that I'm scared here. But I'd really like to pick up a couple of black hearts. Probably going to avoid the curse room, unless the secret room is next to it. Hi, Priestess. I get, the health upgrade, I think, is effectively worthless. So I actually feel like High Priestess is, is a great choice. Because the health up, at this point, may actually be bad. It possibly could be good as well. It could possibly save the run, but I don't think the run is in need of saving. It's like giving CPR to a healthy person, you know? You, maybe you're going to break a couple ribs for no reason. It's not necessary. Fuck this, man. How I didn't get hit by all of those shots hitting me in the face, I will not know, but, uh... What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Nothing. Nothing except money and life. What am I supposed to do with that? Wow, again, uh, damage I, I definitely should have taken. Game's being relatively kind to me right now. And I appreciate that a great deal. It can fuck itself, though. Alright, more black hearts for me. I Maybe it's superstition, but I feel like sometimes just being close to the uh, enemy gives me a greater chance to poison it or something. It's probably not real. Is it? Is it though? Is it real though? Because I would like to know this. It would give me great justification for using Sack Dagger. Rotten Baby! Rotten Baby, you fucked me! You easily could have hit him there.
It's embarrassing. You're killing your mother. This run actually, like, ended up being extraordinarily fast, which I'll admit I'm appreciative of. We don't want the HP. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't think the mulligan stacks, so I think we want none of this. We'll take Parasite. We'll take Ipecac. We'll take anything that could possibly ruin our run. E. coli is actually going to be pretty sweet for us, though. Um, because if we get permanent Polaroid invincibility, just walk into an enemy. You know, ipso facto, they dead. Ipecac Parasite is obviously a little dangerous, but... Um, I think we got the, the necessary means to generate more HP to not be super freaked out by it. And, of course, our flies are going to do so much more damage as a result of having this Ipecac. Beautiful. Lovely. This is the wrong direction, but we have won this run. It's not like it, it was really that difficult. I mean, it... it it got pretty good on that uh, Caves XL. Thank God I didn't degauss myself into just the Caves 1. That's, I'm being facetious. You can't do that as much as I, w I w would love for you to be able to do so. I thought there was a chest, but I guess that was just the sound of the door opening. Don't forget, whenever one door closes, uh, another door opens because a cat paws at it incessantly until it gets in. And then it runs out at an extreme pace for no reason discernibly. For no reason, Bruce Dernally. We done. And it's just so symbolic that we get that uh, black card from the enemy at the end. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.